Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we are doing a class in the Wam Bam Dan series, which is faster paced classes, shorter classes for all levels. This is going to be for the beginner level, beginner schedule, Wam Bam Diaphragm. And this class is going to have, as you can imagine, diaphragmatic breath and it's going to be booty booty and apps booty of steel <laughs> and apps for the beginner uh, the advanced students i always schedule these uh, classes on wednesday for the advanced so that you have monday tuesday stronger classes wednesday it's almost like a rest class but still circulation uh, joy etc moving breathing and so forth so the full programs are on my website so you can find the whole program there and all the weekly schedules so i'd love to see you there and remember to flow with love strength and ease for today's class we are going to start in a laying position so you're going to come onto your side if you want to lower down properly and then slowly lower yourself onto your back. We're going to bring one hand on the belly and one hand on the chest. You can extend your legs or bend them and, and we'll begin with simple diaphragmatic breath. Inhaling into the lower belly and as you inhale, your belly will expand. And exhaling through the mouth, you can choose through the nose too. Again, belly lowers down and the chest remains just resting, it doesn't move. And that allows you to really uh, connect to diaphragmatic breath so that you can experience different breathing techniques in different classes and situations in life. So for today's class is diaphragmatic and really focus on expanding the hand as you inhale and expanding the belly and the hand moves, the hand that's on the belly. And as you exhale, the belly lowers down, the hand moves down. The hand on the chest remains as still as possible, meaning the chest moves as little as possible. So let's go for a few breaths here. You can always pause the video and go a little longer if you have extra time and you want to enjoy the benefits, uh, which are numerous, of diaphragmatic breath. So let's go. A few more.
and that's the last one come back to normal breath let's bend the knees bring them into bridge alignment starting to introduce movement and we are going to have the feet exactly facing forward about hip width apart let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty bones of steel <laughs> Keep your right foot on the floor, palms of the hands together, press the lower back down, take the left leg up. Now, the, more, the stronger your core is, the lower your leg can go without unpeeling the lower back from the floor. Um, if you don't feel that you have yet strong core, just <clears throat> keep your uh, leg a little higher so that you can anchor the lower back down and you can pull and engage the lower uh, belly muscles, the entire core really. Speaking of the entire core, you can engage Mula Bandha here. Hands together and we're going to bring the right elbow to the left knee and then extend and lower the leg as far down as you can without unpeeling the lower back from the floor. Let's go one, two, three, four focus on really engaging five the core six seven eight nine ten opposite side one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And here we're going to bring the left ankle over the right knee, elbows down for additional support, help, and assistance. And we're going to bring up. You can open here the hip and feel that as a hip opening, but also as glute hamstring work on the right side. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring your legs up. And we're going to do toe touches. Now you're going to adjust your feet a little further away from you in case it's really easy to reach them with no effort. You really want to <laughs> put a little effort into this. So engage the core, Mula Bandha, everything engaged and consciously aware of your core. And let's go one, two, open chest five nine ten stomach vacuum pelvic tilt so you're going to bring the tailbone up towards aim it towards the knees and we're going to press the elbows down i find that that really helps with emptying the belly and we're going to empty the belly and hollow the lower belly two more perfect tilt exhale Hollow the belly, press the elbows down. Two 
last one, and if it's not too much, mulabanda on top of the other things, on top of the stomach vacuum and pressing the elbow. So you're doing a few different things. They're all working towards the same goal. If you can also engage mulabanda, perfect. All right, release, reach forward, lower back on the floor, belly engaged, and we're gonna touch side to side the calves. Right hand to right calf, left hand to left. Great, turn over and lay onto your belly. Here, you can bring your hands underneath your forehead, bend the right knee, flex the foot, and we're gonna lift only the right leg, keeping the hips level and square. So you're literally just using the muscles on the right side. So it is uh, hamstrings, lots of hamstrings really and uh, glutes to lift here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. Last round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Here we're gonna engage the lower back as well. Lift your legs and arms off the floor. Hold. And you can begin swimming. <sighs> Hands underneath the shoulders. Come up onto all fours. Extend the right leg up, and we're gonna cross it over the left and back. One, two, flex the booty. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knee here and let's press the heel up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, as we open, we'll extend the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now last one on this side. Lift the leg, bend the knee, and we're just going to extend and bend. Really feel your hamstrings working. One, try to steady the knee as much as you can. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. If you want to double pat or use something soft, a pillow under your knee. Let's cross over. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knee and lift up. One, try to keep your hips square. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fire hydrants out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now with a leg extension, open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Last one, lift, bend the knee and just straighten the leg. One, try to keep the knee steady. Two, three, you're literally using just the hamstring. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. All right, here we're going to lift and touch on the side, almost like that oblique crunch again you can use you can use a pad or you can double pat your mat a pillow double patting the mat looks like just flipping it over to make it a little softer so lift and knee to elbow lift knee to elbow let's go one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here we're gonna draw circles with the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Try to keep your hips. Steady and level as much as you can. Reverse the circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. And the opposite side. Lift, knee in. Lift, knee in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now circles. One, two. Try to steady as much as you can the hips. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And child's pose. Inhale coming up. You can bring your hand on the belly, one hand onto the chest. Inhale and really expand the belly, diaphragmatic. <clears throat> Exhale and really empty the belly again, the chest doesn't move. One more, just this is a finishing, finishing strokes, finishing touches. And release. You can sit in a comfortable position just for a moment, either on your block on, or on a pillow. And <clears throat> you can just stay here for a few moments, focusing on exhalations, lengthening the time of, an ex of the exhalation. A few of those breaths, anywhere from 10 to 20 breaths is okay. Do whatever works for you, whatever you have time for. The extended exhalation will bring your nervous system to a more relaxed 
uh, state. So if you feel anxious or um, if you're going through a stressed out period in your life, if for some reason you need to calm down more than usual, just do more breaths today. If you feel pretty calm, do 10 to 20 and have a beautiful day. So you will just inhale as usual and exhale slowly. And slowly. Sophie, calm down. And you can count the time it takes you to inhale and the time it takes you to exhale. Make it one and a half to two times longer, whatever works for your body at the moment. You can inhale on the count of four and exhale on the count of six or eight. Or if you happen to inhale on the count of five, whatever your count is, then you will exhale on the count of eight or ten, seven, eight, ten. It doesn't have to be down to, uh, sci to a science. Just focus on a longer exhalation, relax, and follow your breath as an anchoring point for the mind. And remember to flow with love, strength, and ease. Namaste.